The owner of the iconic Sears building in Boyle Heights has scaled back a controversial proposal to house homeless people there, reducing the number of beds from 10, 000 to 2, 500. Many community members remain deeply upset by the new proposal, with some likening it to a concentration camp or Manzanar at a raucous four-hour online meeting Thursday in a protest the day before. Homeless people from the neighborhood would be first in line for the two, 500 beds, said Project Spokesperson Leandro Haya, with senior citizens, LBGTQ plus youths, veterans and families next on the list. We have an opportunity to help the Boyle Heights community and the homeless population, Chira, S. Everyone says they want to help, but they don't come up with plans. Here, we have a plan. Built in 1927, the Art Deco-style Sears building was once a hub of Boyle Heights, where people purchased everything from baby clothes to prom dresses to refrigerators. After years of declining popularity, the store closed last year. Isaac Shomov, who bought the one. 6 million square foot property in 2013, originally planned to convert it to a mixed-use hipster destination. Recently, Shomov's plans shifted. The multi-millionaire developer now hopes to make a dent in the region's homelessness crisis. But to some in Boyle Heights, the proposal, whether it is for 10, 000 or 2, 500 beds, is yet another insult to a community they feel has been persistently shortchanged. To become a reality, the proposal needs the backing of public officials, who so far have given no positive indications. As it stands, this proposed project does not have the support of my office, Los Angeles County Supervisor Hilda L. Solis said in a written statement. LA City Councilman Kevin DeLeon has yet to be convinced of the merits of the project but would be open to dialogue, said his Chief of Staff, Jennifer Braza.